When I first meet a family, I observe their family life and the dynamics between parents and their children. And I take mental notes throughout the day of what I feel is not working. And at the end of the evening, I sit down and I talk to the parents. Andrea and Fred, let's go into the other room and discuss what I've observed. Joe is observing the good parts of us, but she's mostly looking for the bad parts of us. And that's a little unnerving. I hope that Joe comes up with a plan as soon as possible to help our family and improve our lives. Andrea and Fred, what energy, what energy your family has. I see two educated parents. You guys know so much about your children. We agree with you. <laughs> Good. So what I'd like to say to the pair of you is where did the control start to slip? You know that Andrew manipulates you. You know that he wangles his little finger and gets his own way when he wants to. But the question is, do you know why the pair of you allow that to happen? I think just having a child is challenging. You know, he's, uh, he's taken the reins in some ways and we've tried to take back in control and we'll try something for a while and it doesn't work. But when you get yourself into a cycle where bad habits are breeding and your children are coming up to you and challenging you, then that cycle needs to be broke. Those bad habits need to change. Behaviour. Behaviour with Andrew concerns me. When he plays with other children, he's very overpowering, he's very controlling, and he's very aggressive. To throw toys at other children, to shout at them. Andrew needs to be taught by you guys. He needs to be taught how to play. And, and I feel, at four years old, he's quite capable of being able to play with his friends. But he won't know how to do that unless you teach him. You know, you don't want to see your kids struggle. You know, you don't want him to be the bully or, you know. You want to do what you need to do as a parent so your kid will be successful. But you are giving your child love and you are giving your child praise and encouragement, but you need to balance that. And that's where, that's where we fail. I don't think it's about failing, and I don't want you to sit here as parents and feel like failures, because no parent's perfect. No parent. After speaking to the pair of you, I can't wait to work with you guys and start implementing techniques and to change this for the better. Are you guys, you guys committed and willing to uh, to give it a go? Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Definitely, for sure. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't kill you. Yeah. Don't go. Yeah. Yeah. Mum has just given Andrew a five minute warning for bedtime and she's also got to put Sean down as well. At the moment, it's very, very hyper for two little boys that have got to go to bed. I'd be uh, very surprised if they go down straight away.